But what I'm going to show you now are some compositions that I've put together in Adobe Edge Animate. These are actually intended to be kind of examples inside of a DPS publication where you can have content from a Edge Animate composition inside of a web content overlay inside of DPS in your your digital publication. And basically what it does is it allows you to render just HTML content in there. And um, by the by default, so out of the box, Edge Animate doesn't support things like uh, swipe gestures and double taps. And so what I've done is included the hammer.js library. And I'm taking advantage of that inside of these compositions. So you can see, I just had an animation play when I loaded this page. I can double tap on that and you can see the animation starts from the beginning. So no matter where I am, I double tap on it and it restarts from the beginning. So the other example I want to show you is implementation of swipe gestures. As you can see, I have an edge animate composition. I have the Adobe logo slide in, and I can go ahead and swipe horizontally. And you can see that I actually have a transition between the images. And all it's doing is actually playing along the timeline based upon when I determine that gesture starts. Now, there's a couple interesting things that are happening here is that when I make a gesture, if I drag at the same time, it can kind of confuse the gesture. You can get around that in JavaScript, but to keep the example simple, I didn't bother with that. And those are the two examples. Um, the full source is available on my blog at tricedesigns.com. Thanks.